Well, for many East Tennesseans, this weekend will include some special treats and some beverages. That's right. We're joined now by Miranda from Cherokee Distributing Company to learn how to mix up some Valentine's Day themed cocktails, including some non-alcoholic options. Yep. You get very creative. Well, we did this during it. the holidays, and you came up with a variety of, of drinks that you can serve yep. if you're entertaining or um, having a party. Yep. Well, Valentine's Day is fast approaching. As we all know, it's this Saturday. So if you need some last-minute ideas, we've got some today. Mm -hmm. um, I did a beer, my Valentine. All you can do is go to your local grocery store or liquor store and pick up some beers and give it as a gift. Mm -hmm. um, I chose six different beers that can actually pair with food if you're going to do a nice romantic dinner all of these can be paired pretty easily with different items cool and, and I see you have some cupcakes so they go with cupcakes yes <laughs> actually this last one here, oh really yep the angry orchard uh, hop and mad apple goes really well with sweet treats wow yeah. oh okay yep so that's that's one option there um, we also have another option you can do a chocolate covered cherry it's just Sam Adams cherry wheat you take Lagunitas Imperial stout or any stout Mix it together, and then you just top it off with some cherries, and you can have a fun girls' or guys' night or anti-Valentine's Day party, whatever you want to do with that. Okay. And um, all right, then what you have down there. And then, of course, you should have some non-alcoholic options, too. Mm -hmm. If you've got some kids or someone who wants something different, um, this is really easy to do. You just take cream of coconut, which you can find in any grocery store baking aisle, dip the top of the glass. Great. Dip it in some Pop Rocks, which we all know what Pop Rocks are. Uh -huh. Yep. That's very Sometimes cool. it makes some noise, so don't get too nervous. And then you just take ginger ale and do kind of like a fun Shirley Temple. Oh, that's style. a good idea. That's yeah, a great idea. Kind of fun. All right, some ginger ale and then what do you, what, what? Just some grenadine, top it off with some cherries, and there you go. You're so creative. Yeah. Well, love it. Great, great options. Kids would love that for sure. You got some cheese down here. I guess some of yep, these go better so with that, huh? Some cheese probably would go best with this uh, Sierra Nevada Hoppy Lager. Um, that just, it kind of balances pretty well. Otherwise, if you want to balance beer with fish, I would go with the second two options there. Any kind of an IPA mm -hmm. beer style would go well. Um, or steak, you would want to do something more of an ale, like a Newcastle Scotch Ale or the Smutty Nose Brown Dog Ale. Okay. And you have recipes um, on the website from yep. time to time? If you go to our website, CherokeeDistributing.com, we've got all the information on all these beers. You can find them all at any of your liquor store or grocery store. Okay. And also the recipe ideas. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Thanks Very for creative. Happy yeah. Valentine's yeah. Day. You as well. Drink responsibly. That's Most the truth. definitely. All right.